Hey, this is Jay Lee. Hope all is well. I just want to talk about this great meetup we had over in Riverside. It was a beautiful day at a beautiful park, and Paul and Chris were right that this place was a hot spot. I think we saw over 15 objects this day, but it seemed to me that they just kind of kept their distance. I think possibly due to unfamiliarity with the area and possibly safety concerns. For example, I ended up uh, tracking how high the planes were because this place was pretty close to a flight pattern at Los Angeles International Airport. There were many planes coming from Dallas-Fort Worth and Atlanta. Everybody kind of went along this uh, flight tunnel. They approached LAX from our area about 15,500 feet. I used my app Plane Finder to discover how high these planes were and where they're coming from. I think it really gives us a good reference on how high these things are. But the other thing is that we could potentially discern how high the clouds are. These planes were well below the cirrus stratus clouds that were up there. The cirrus stratus clouds are typically around 18 to 42,000 feet. And there was a couple of instances that a couple of orbs appeared with inside those clouds and we ended up losing them inside those clouds. So for this first one, everybody thought that this one looked like a UFO, but actually it was a plane that was flying very, very high. I suspect that this one was flying probably about 35,000 feet. It looked a little interesting to me, so I started to videotape. So as I'm zooming in on my V520, I, re I recognize that this thing is a plane. It takes me a little bit to zoom in at uh, 80 times zoom, but I'm able to recognize that it was a plane. But just as I ended my zoom, uh, I noticed that there was something that was following it. So this object that you see is probably about, you know, about the size of a cockpit of a plane or possibly larger. So this next one looked like a regular balloon cluster to me. It was black and white and seemed to have all the characteristics of a regular balloon cluster. It was big on top but also had kind of a, a large middle section. And then the tether portion seemed to be, uh, I guess, conglomerated into something that looked like a dog's tail. Now experience has told me that if you see a cluster with a dog's tail, you gotta look into it further. Who would take the time to tie up a bunch of tethers into something that looks like a dog's tail? Uh, nobody. You definitely have to take a second look. You know, we weren't really supposed to see this. If we didn't have a telescope, you'd never see this. But this thing transformed, okay? This was a transformer. And to those people who have cognitive dissidence over this whole thing, this is not a chromatic aberration. This one came close enough for us to pull out the details. But here's something else that I noticed that was a little bit on the strange. This black thing seemed to move. It kind of stayed in the middle until it started to move. It seemed to almost slither amongst this structure. Now you gotta keep in mind that UFOs may look different from what you expect, but this is what I saw. And here are some still pictures of this thing moving amongst this structure. To me, it almost looks like like a snake. So I'm gonna call this one Slither. And I've seen this before. Please check out some of my previous videos. This is not being caused by a simple rotation of the structure. Anyway, this one was amazing. Here's another cluster looking thing that I thought was unusual uh, because it looked like it was in the shape of a question mark. It also seemed like it was transforming, but it also had the, uh, the dog tail looking thing. 
I haven't seen that many question mark looking type of balloons or or flower looking balloons. Um, so I I think you know like what's the chances of like you seeing a question mark looking balloon when you're out there? Generally, a cluster of balloons will be tied at the bases of the balloons, like way, way up at the top, which causes the tethers to splay and become wider at the bottom, as opposed to pointy like a dog's tail. The big takeaways from this event uh, for me was that if you're in unfamiliar territory, they like to keep their distance. I suspect that they'll keep their distance at least until they feel more familiar, more comfortable uh, with their surroundings. I also believe that uh, being in an unfamiliar neighborhood, uh, you'll probably end up seeing different uh, objects. I'm not sure, but they might end up having their own little territory. The other big takeaway from this is that they're up there. Uh, you just have to call and they'll show up. Yes, we definitely had some powerhouses at this event, but uh, I would say that if they know you, feel comfortable with you they will show up uh, but if you need some help on how you could do this is please come over to one of our events the ufo communicators are very friendly very approachable so anyway i hope you like the video please click the like button and subscribe i'm gonna leave you guys with some live footage the objects we saw were flashing and stayed equidistant these were absolutely not birds and they weren't that very high up there anyway i'll see you guys next time those look round those look around. Man. Oh, what the hell? They disappeared. Oh, okay, they man. They're not birds. Are, are oh, my birds? God. Yeah, they look like they look like orbs. I can't tell they what that are? is. Right are those birds? Oh, or yeah. Them. That was I shining right there, though. Yeah, they shining. I don't think those are birds. That's, that's, that's oh. the oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, no, I can't tell what that is. I can't tell what that is. It's yeah. weird. They're, do, they're, they're like, they're equidistant. That shit's fast. How many do you see? I can't tell from here. Yeah, the way they're moving, they don't really move like birds. Right, they're, they're like staying equidistant. They're being photosynthesized by the sun and the refraction off the sun. <laughs>